Hey guys, welcome back to Salem, my name is Zach, and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to use fireplaces. Now fireplaces are kind of like piles of wood, piles of wood are like the first thing you can build, but fireplaces are permanent and take stone to build. Now it might seem a little confusing, when you right click on the stones you see this little interface here. And what this basically means, on the left side, this is how much fuel has been loaded in. But then what you have to do is you have to burn the fuel, and then what's left is a pile of uh, kind of hot coals, and then this bar will be full, and then the hot coals will slowly cool down. But while the hot coals are cooling down, you can put baked foods into here. So I'm going to show you how to do this. First thing you have to do is you have to take a kind of fuel, wood in, of any kind really works, but branches are kind of the freest kind. And you want to right click onto this, this, the stones, not in the middle, the middle won't work. And I'm holding shift here so I can just keep on clicking and put all the branches onto this fireplace. And last one, there we go. So if I right click this now, you can see each branch is worth 10 and maximum fuel is 100. So now we have to light the fireplace. So I have a tinder drill here. So all I have to do is pick this up and use it on the fireplace. So there we go. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Just have to light this up. It does take a while to light a fire, doesn't it? Okay, almost there. And then we have a lit fire. And as you can see, it's pretty bright. It kind of lit up my entire homestead here. And now if you right click, you, you won't really see anything. But you can use this as if it's a burning pile of wood. So when you right click, you're now technically using a fireplace, which means at this stage, you can use it as a fire and go ahead and craft some roasted goods. So I'm going to roast this chestnut over here. And there we have it. We have a roasted chestnut. That's oh, pretty good, actually. Um, so that's the beginning of it. So now we have to wait for this to burn down and it'll turn to coals. The graphic will change, so you'll know it when you see it. But I'm just going to cut the video over there. Okay, after a little while, it'll look like this, but it's still got a long way to go before it's burnt down to the coals. Okay, after about three and a half hours, it's finally turned into this. Look at that. That is basically charcoal or burnt coals right there. Now if you right click you can see it's kind of cooling off or burning down here. So at this point you can take any kind of baked goods or unbaked goods rather and for example I got these wart baked wart bites. So you just pop them in and they will start cooking. Over time you'll see a little thing appear here and uh, it's basically like a, a clock and once it goes all the way around, it'll turn into a baked wart, baked wart bite. <laughs> it's so hard to say. Anyway, all you have to do is leave it in there and then you can come back later and it'll be done. So I'm going to leave these for a while and see if they're done. This is not a cooking show and I have not prepared one earlier, so we got to wait. Okay, as you can see, the clock icon is going all the way around and I just found out do not touch any of the baked, unbaked goods in here because I picked this up and put it back in and it reset the timer. Luckily I had about another 50 energy left on these charcoals, so it should be able to cook anyway. So just a little bit more and we'll be able to take out our baked wart baked war bite. Okay, and there it is, it's now baked. So it took a long time, about three and a half hours for the wood to burn down to charcoals and then another half hour just to bake this thing. So baking is not a fast thing in this game, but as you can see, we've got it. It's pretty good. You can see <laughs> it's great to use in gluttony mode to level up some of your things over there. And that's basically it for baking. I'm going to leave that one in there for a little while longer. Okay, that concludes cooking with fireplaces. I'll see you in the next video.